lessons? Or was Steve Rogers the way I wield shields to protect my loved ones or yield such kind of power and confidence and leadership? They say that I smile in royalty like T'Challa, whatever that means. That I clown like Deadpool and still possess the sarcasm of Michael Bryce. That I have got the temple of Bruce Banner the way I smashed his words into tiny fragments of poetry. And they say because I was born on the 18th of June that I too am a Gemini man, but I wonder, woman, will Smith finally sell his portable bond density scanner in the pursuit of his happiness? I wonder, because since my wife left to find her Independence Day, it seems the only thing I've been doing for my little daughter, Princess Alexandria, is join the Suicide Squad. See, in whatever movie you cast me, I am an alien because I've been clumsy. I spew birds like Stephen. Stranger things have happened to me, and it's clear to see like glass that even I battle with a legion of demons like James McAvoy, but I'm no toy. So I pray for light years to buzz me awake from this inception. Deception has me transforming like villain Decepticons. Except I am not Tom Hardy, but his venomous inner battles drive me insane like Tokyo Drift Han. Listen. Like a black Toretto with freckles on his face, I still find common ground. And I am not Ross, but I am grateful for the camaraderie of friendship. Friends that turn into family like the Fast and Furious saga. The ones that are willing to break down with me in my own twilight sagas. I am grateful for such friends because without them, I would have died a long time ago. See, in whatever movie you cast me, I am probably broke, but I've got hope, and I bank on it like Pennywise, because I'm not just any clown, but Pennywise. So don't you ask me why I'm so serious in spending pennies wise, and I can put a smile on my face, because I don't got it all under control. I am Heath Ledger behind his dramatist persona. Robin Williams after doubting fire, and Chester Bedingfield after unlinking those paths. But the only reason I keep that noose away from my neck is because Quentin Tarantino knows that unlike Django, I remain chained, and I've been a slave for more than 12 years. But when I tell you such truths, you think it's just pulp fiction. But see, in my alternate universe, my little daughter is Princess Ariel. The little mermaid that brings stability to these waters and because of her, this titanic never hits that proverbial iceberg. This Peter Pan is no longer a lost boy and I am not a joker but a jack of all trade. And every time I grab her hand, I pick a rose too. Just so that the skin could never fall but bless the ground on which she walks because she is my little red riding hood. And because of her, every single day, I find my yellow brick road. Now fix your mouths. I know I just took you through Wonderland. But you can go and tell Alice that you finally found the Wizard of Oz. Okay.